If you're wondering what I'm doing here at this used car dealership, I'll give you a hint. I'm not here to buy a car. I am here to take my taste buds for a test drive down Saigon Street, a brand new food trailer that just opened on Airport Boulevard. When it comes to diverse food options, Airport Boulevard is not the first place most Austinites think of. Of course, there are the classics that have been doing their thing there forever, but it's only recently that there's been an influx of eateries popping up that are slowly changing the face of this once barren stretch. One of those places is Saigon Street, where they serve up classic Vietnamese street food. Let's go check it out. Saigon Street is not your typical food trailer. The business is a close-knit family operation that's all run by a daughter, mother, and aunt. I'm Ann. And I'm Trang. So Lone um, is the oldest of um, 12 children in her family. Wow. And she's come from a long line of um, excellent cooks. So she learned a lot of recipes from her, her mother, which is my grandmother. And then my grandmother learned from her mother in Vietnam. And being that she's the oldest in the family of 12 siblings, she was constantly always in the kitchen helping out her mom. She's excellent in the kitchen. Today, you're going to be trying um, our weekend special, which is called La Cob. It literally means beef stew. Um, it's beef marinated in a lot of different seasonings, like star, anise, um, cinnamon, cloves, cumin. And then we slow cook it for about three hours wow. at least so that the meat is really, really tender and all of the um, ingredients that sort of marry each other. Yeah, it tastes like what my mom would make. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. It's not really spicy, it's got a sweet flavor. I love the beef in it. You can see that cooking it slow for hours really pays off. It melts in your mouth practically. It's perfectly tender. So a classic bun mi starts with a crispy crust uh, French baguette. So we toast the bread first. Um, it has a layer of um, a mayo spread um, that is distinctly Vietnamese. We stuff it with meats, either charcoal pork, um, the more classic traditional type is like a cold cut, so lots of various different cold cuts. In goes a, some cilantro, fresh cilantro, fresh cucumber, pickled daikon and carrots, which we call um, yu jua, to kick it up a notch, fresh jalapeno, slices of jalapenos. Yeah. <laughs> All right of that up my goes alley. right in the sandwich, yeah. Nice. The bread's really crispy. The pork's got a nice flavor to it. I love the crunch also from all the vegetables in it. You know, the, the carrots, uh, the cucumbers. You have the combination of the jalapeno and the cilantro that give it that kind of spicy bite. That is really good. We always get the number nine. It's the um, it's a marinated tofu. It isn't like any tofu I've ever had. The, the lemongrass tofu dish. We keep it simple with just deep fried um, pieces of tofu that's been sliced and then um, stir fry it with leeks and mushrooms and, and importantly the, the lemongrass. And uh, that dish, to our surprise, is probably one of our top sellers too because everybody, even if they're not vegetarian, likes to, uh, to, to try it. I am not a vegetarian and usually I'm very uh, hesitant to try out vegetarian things, so let's dig in. Even without any soy sauce or sriracha or chili pepper sauce, you get lots of flavor. It's not overly fried, it's not overly greasy. In a rare moment, I will say, I could kind of see how a vegetarian could live pretty decently, maybe even happy, with food like this available. After I tried out the delicious food and shared some of her thoughts on Airport Boulevard's changing culinary landscape. We really like being on Airport Boulevard. We think that the environment is changing quickly around here. We hope to kind of contribute to that, to change the atmosphere around here. We wanted to bring a flavor of Vietnam to Austin. Follow Neil on Twitter. Got my beverage here. <laughs> <laughs>